You sold that controller you chewed on, lol. About a month ago, I made a video reviewing the new Xbox Series X controller as well as the new USB-C play and charge kit for that controller. There were a lot of comments about the actual USB play and charge kit and what it could and could not do, and in this video I kind of want to touch on that topic again and answer some of the questions you guys had in that last video. If you missed that video, be sure to check it out before watching this one. I'll leave an iCard here as well as a link down below. Guys, what's up? My name is Michael. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. We're putting out new tech videos every single week. I'm actually using a new lens in this video. This is a wide angle lens. Let me know if it looks much different. Might have to uh, kind of adjust my setup here, but for now, I think this is good. And be sure to stick around to the end of the video. I'll give you guys a few other alternative options if you're not interested in Microsoft's USB-C rechargeable battery pack. There's a few other options on the market you might be interested in. And of course, guys, if you're interested in purchasing the USB-C rechargeable battery pack, I'll leave a link down in the description below. So let's jump right into it with the first question. Probably one of the most common questions I got is if you could use the USB-C charge kit, the play and charge kit, the battery pack that comes in it on the old Xbox One controllers and vice versa. The answer is yes, the batteries are interchangeable. So if you have a play and charge kit from your Xbox One controller, you'll be able to use it on the new Xbox Series X controller, the Xbox Core controller. And again, same the other way around. If you buy the new USB-C battery pack for the Xbox Series X controller, you can use it with Xbox One controllers. They're pretty much the same exact thing. Really, the only thing different is the cable itself. With the play and charge kit for the Xbox One, you get a micro USB cable. And with the play and charge kit for the Xbox Series X and S, you get a USB-C cable. The next question we got here a lot is how do you actually charge the USB-C battery pack? There's kind of a few different ways to do it. The question I actually got was, do you need to actually insert the Xbox battery pack into the actual Xbox controller? Yes, you do. In order to charge this thing, you have to actually have the battery pack inside of the controller. You can't charge it outside of it. And the reason for that is because you have to actually plug the cable into the controller. There's no spot on the outside of the battery pack to actually charge it. You have to plug it in. How you actually charge the controller, there's again a few different ways here. You can plug it into the actual Xbox and play while you charge the controller, hence the name. You can also plug it into a wall adapter and just charge it that way, or really any sort of USB plug-in, whether it's a computer or a nightstand that you have that has a USB plug-in on it. If you plug a USB cord into there and you plug it into the actual controller itself, you'll be able to charge the controller just fine. Another question I got related to that is how do we know when the actual battery is charged? So if you have it plugged into the actual Xbox, you'll be able to display the actual charge on the top right of your screen when you press the Xbox button or you're on the dashboard. If you're charging the controller through an adapter or through a USB port not on the Xbox, there's not really any way to tell with the new USB-C rechargeable battery pack. On the old micro USB version, they did have an indicator light that would tell you if it's charging or if it was fully charged. They've seemed to taken that away on this version, not sure why, but they have, so there's no way to, to tell if it's actually charged without having it plugged into your Xbox. Another question I got here was, can I use the old USB controller, the cable that it came with from the Xbox One, on my new USB-C play and charge kit for the Xbox Series X? You can't because they're completely different cables. Again, on the Microsoft Xbox One version, we have micro USB. On the Series X, we have USB-C. So you can't charge them because they're just different cables. You end up having to either buy a new cable or if you buy the rechargeable battery pack, it'll actually come with a cable inside the box. Another question we got here, you guys had again a lot of questions on the last video. Leave comments below if you got any more, I'll try to answer them. The question we have here is, will the USB-C cable work on the Xbox One or the Xbox One S? The answer is yes, if you decide to use the Xbox Series X core controller on an Xbox One, you can just plug that cable into the Xbox One and it'll work just fine. You'll be able to play and charge while you're using the controller. Count how many times I've said Xbox in this video. I bet it's a lot. This isn't really a question, but I actually saw this quite a bit in the comments that you guys bought this USB-C rechargeable battery pack and it wasn't working or you weren't able to get it charged. Don't have a lot of advice here. The first thing I would say is if you bought it on Amazon, which I assume most of you did, just return it, exchange it for a new one, and hopefully that'll fix the problem. The other thing I'd recommend is making sure you have the actual battery pack in the right way. Maybe you accidentally just shoved it in the wrong way or it could be upside down. Make sure you're inserting it in the right way and then try charging it again. Try charging it through various ports. You could try your Xbox, try a wall adapter. Not sure why you'd buy it and it wouldn't be working, but I actually saw quite a few of those comments. So hopefully returning it or exchanging it for a different one will work out. We got a question here asking if the USB-C port will be more durable on these new controllers. I believe so. Yeah, I think the USB-C port is a little more durable than micro USB. I've had issues with micro USB as well in the past too. So those are kind of the main questions and the main comments I saw throughout my previous video. For those of you guys who haven't had the USB-C rechargeable battery pack work, I wanted to give you a few other options that might work better for you. What I will caution here though, is I, I would highly recommend buying a, a name brand rechargeable battery pack 
of some sort. Having the official Microsoft one, I think is the best route to go. But if you don't want this one, there's a few other options here. And the reason I tell you to buy a brand one is because a lot of these off brand ones, they can just be from Chinese manufacturers. The, the batteries aren't good. I've heard cases of them starting fires. So try to get a more common name brand one. Might be kind of hard to find on Amazon, but here's a few. The first one here is just an Amazon Basics one. This is actually two rechargeable battery packs in one. And it's actually cheaper than just the one rechargeable battery pack you get with the official Microsoft licensed one. I personally trust Amazon Basics. Usually it is basic stuff, but usually higher quality or at least slightly higher quality. So I think this one would be a safe bet to get if you're interested in getting it. I'll leave links down in the description. And full transparency here, any links in the description are affiliate links. If you purchase it, I will get a little bit of a commission. I appreciate that. If not, you can just go type it into Amazon and buy it on your own. The next one here is Fossman. This, I'm a little leery of this brand because I haven't heard of them a lot, but I have heard of the brand before. Um, it's not really a name brand, which kind of contradicts what I said earlier, but this is a brand I actually trust. I've used this before, haven't had any problems with it. So this is another option I might recommend. PDP Energizer is another brand I'd probably recommend. I've used these in the past as well, and they work pretty good. One thing to note, no matter if you get the Microsoft or a different one, uh, the batteries will probably degrade over time, especially if you plan to have this thing throughout the life cycle of a console, which could be anywhere from five to eight years. Batteries tend to do that as they get older. If they say that they'll give you 30 hours of gameplay, they might only end up giving you 15 after a few years of use. I hope that has answered a lot of people's confusion. I felt like I had to make this video just to kind of clear up some confusion. For this video, that's gonna do it though, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you've got any more questions on any of these topics. If you're picking up a rechargeable battery pack, let me know which one. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, it really helps out the YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys. Have a great rest of your day.